Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, worshippers of all ages, welcome back to YouTube. My name is Sea Raptor. Today we're bringing you a first look of a new ship that has recently entered super testing. I speak, of course, of Tier 10 Premium Commonwealth Destroyer HMAS D Vampire 2. Or, I guess, technically, if you want to be the use the right nomenclature, the way the other ships in the game have kind of been named, this would be Vampire 59? I don't know. Anyway, something along those lines. This is essentially the new high-tier Commonwealth Destroyer, currently in testing, not yet available. Well, they haven't even told us how she's going to be available yet, I don't know. But we're going to poke around this ship and have a look at what, um, what her deal is. Now, I'm going to preface this whole video by saying, if you really enjoy HMCS Haida, which is another premium Commonwealth Destroyer, chances are you're going to like Vampire 2. If... For whatever reason, you've played Haida, you don't care for it, it's a struggle, it's a challenge, this is likely not going to be the ship for you. And we'll talk about why as we get a little deeper in. So as we always do, let's start off by looking at survivability. Now you're going to hear me talk a lot about Tier 10 British Destroyer HMS Daring in this video. And the reason for that is Vampire Deuce here is a daring. This is a daring class ship. So the, the baseline statistics are all going to relate back to daring in some way. But she is a little different. She is a little tweaked. And I'm going to point out those differences as we go along. But you're going to hear me say, just like daring, a whole lot. Okay, so stay tuned. Here we go. Hit points. Now, this is 19,800 base HP. You see here, I've got my Haida Captain installed on the ship with Survivability Expert that's got this number pumped up. She does start with 1,000 fewer hit points than Daring does. I feel like right now, that is probably a uh, an acknowledgement of how she plays, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So she starts off a little behind, and, like, and unlike Daring, I'm going to go ahead and spoil this for you, she does not get the heal that Daring does. Okay, so this is a much more fragile ship but she compensates for it in different ways, and you'll see that as we go on. So 23,000, uh, 23, uh, sorry, 19,800 hit points is the base number here. Armor layout, I mean, she's a destroyer. She has no meaningful armor. If there's 19 millimeters of plating on the hull, this is typical if you've looked at any, most high-tier destroyers not named Habarovsk, okay? Or Kleber, I guess, for that matter. <laughs> um, the really important numbers for a destroyer, maneuverability and concealment. She has a base speed of 35 knots. You see here, this is pumped up with a Sierra Mike flag. I've got all the flags installed just to look around and see where the numbers would land. Um, again, this is identical to Daring. She basically has the same handling. She has the same top speed, same turning circle, a marginally better rudder shift. I mean, you will not be able to detect the difference in the rudder shift. So if you have played a Daring and you understand how Daring handles, you know exactly what you're getting into by driving this ship. Concealment, I do have her fully rigged for stealth here. You see she comes down to 6 even. Her base detection, I believe, is 7.6 on the surface. I believe that matches Daring. Uh, she gets down to 6 here when you rig her for full stealth with a uh, Concealment mod and uh, Concealment expert on your captain. This is not amazing for a high-tier destroyer. This is thoroughly average, right? She's not on the high end of things like a Kleber or a Kaba, but she's not on the low end of things like, say, a Legendary Gearing or a Shimakaze. This is pretty respectable. And I feel like you're going to see why they've... I mean, this is the same number, but I think I don't think there's any need to change this number based on how I anticipate this ship will, will play. Um, main battery, I mean, it's a destroyer, right? Gotta have guns, and these are the same little pop guns you find on HMS Daring. The little 113 millimeter British turrets here, you've got two up forward and one at the stern. Same shells, okay? The two big differences you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna pick up on from Daring's main battery are this. One is Vampire's battery reloads seven tenths of a second slower. Her base reload speed is 3.5 seconds. Compared to right now, Daring's base reload speed on her main battery, 2.8 seconds. So these guns fire a little slower. The other thing worth pointing out is the range. Daring's range caps out at 12.8. You see here, Vampire gets a 13.8 max uh, main battery range. She gets a little more range on her guns. I feel like that range is an acknowledgement of the fact that this isn't really a torpedo boat, and, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, she has torpedoes, yes. Does she? Are they amazing? Does she have a lot of them? No, not really. So we'll we'll, we'll talk about that in a sec. But I think that rather, that main battery range is an acknowledgement of of where the ship falls in terms of. Uh, of what you know, what she's what the intention is and what she's going to do well and what she's not going to do well. 
Speaking of torpedoes, let's have a look. She has a single quadru, sorry, single quintuple launcher here amidships. Okay, these are the same torpedoes you find aboard Daring. Uh, the 533 Mark uh, Mark 9 Mark 9 M's. There, you see 16,000 alpha damage, 10 kilometer range, 1.3 detection, and 62 knots of speed. For her single launcher, it reloads every 125 seconds. So. Cossack, this ain't. Right, if you're used to playing tier 8 British premium destroyer HMS Cossack, she also has a single quadruple launcher, um, but hers reloads fairly quickly. It's about 65 seconds or so. Here on this, uh, here on uh, on Vampire Deuce, not the case, quite the opposite. Now, I haven't I haven't played this ship, I haven't taken her into a game. However, I suspect that just like Perth, just like Haida, and just like the British destroyers, you can single fire these torpedoes, the conga line, right? The famous conga line. So um, don't be surprised if that if that is the case when you start seeing people play the ship, start people were able to review it and actually take it out and show you gameplay, which we can't do right now. But I suspect that is likely the case. I'd be shocked to find otherwise. But yep, same torpedoes, no big deal. A defenses, again, very, very comparable to Daring. If you go look at the A defenses on your Daring, you basically are getting the same thing here. The dual-purpose main battery guns. She does have a couple of uh, th you know, two or three of these 40-millimeter Bofors mounts flying around. Her AA is, exists, it's here. Is it going to be noteworthy? No, not really. It's a destroyer still. She's she's not gonna, really going to shoot down planes. Um, she does put up a, a few flat puffs. What is it? Six? Four. Yeah. So only four puffs uh, out of the main battery and then uh, a few a few mofers for a mid ring, a mid ring, and that's about it. So um, planes are still her enemy. Luckily, she has uh, a fairly effective defensive measure for that that we will actually go talk about right now. So where Vampire is really going to differentiate from Daring is her consumables loadout. You can see here I've actually built the ship out. Okay, I normally don't do this for videos, but I really wanted to demonstrate a couple of things as I go through this, okay? So, let's talk about our consumables. This is this is where this is where the ship really where it kind of starts to come together, okay? So, we have damage control party as you would expect. We have the Commonwealth crawling smoke. This is just like you find on Haida, on Perth, on uh, Tier 6's uh, uh, Indian ship Masore that or Mysore that's currently in testing, okay? Um, you see here fully buffed this stuff will last for over two minutes. That includes the smoke flag that I have up. All right, so 130, basically 135 seconds of I of crawling smoke. Well, a little over two minutes. You can with all the buffs, you can bring that down right there. You see to about 144 second reload, so a little less than two and a half minutes. So basically, you can play this ship for two minutes in smoke and two and a half minutes out of smoke, and two minutes in smoke and two and a half minutes out of smoke. However, you want to make that work. Um, now. Let's talk about this for a minute because this is this is a key thing. Haida plays this way at tier seven, okay? But Haida, it's even when she's up tiered, Haida in general gets very different matchmaking. There's a lot less uh, long duration or long range radar in the tiers of matchmaking that Haida gets down at tier seven. Vampire is not going to suffer this problem, right? Vampire is going to be in games with the ridiculous Russian 12 kilometer radar or the 48 second, uh, 45, 48 second Wooster or Minotaur or Des Moines radar. So there's going to be stretches, right? Like you talk about this, this, this smoke lasts two minutes. It is possible for an enemy cruiser to largely negate a, a, a significant chunk of your little smoke trick here. Um, so playing Vampire 2 is going to be a bigger challenge than playing Haida. That's why I say if you don't like Haida, you're probably going to hate Vampire 2. However, if you like Haida, if you love Haida, if you enjoy the challenge, if you're able to make that ship work, there are things to like here, but it's it's going to be more challenging because of the radar environment you're going to find yourself in. Okay. Now, another difference from Haida I want to point out, and daring for that matter, is the hydro. If you've played Haida, you think the, I think Haida's hydro goes out to three and a half kilometers, and her gun firing bloom and smoke is like two point seven or something. So, it playing that ship as a destroyer hunter, right, in a cap circle where you put your you pop your little smoke up, you've got a you and, and try to hunt the enemy destroyer while contesting a cap is very challenging because you have a very narrow window you can fire and not be detected. Daring on the other hand, I'm sorry, Vampire Two here on the other hand does not suffer this problem, okay? She has a, a five kilometer hydro, which is really, really pretty good. I mean, that's not it's that's not German, but it's basically effectively tier 10 cruiser hydro, um, which is something Haida could only dream of for her tier matchmaking, okay? She gets her little rolling smoke, and then while she's firing her guns in smoke, 
uh, 2.6 kilometers. So she has a much larger window to work with, about two and a half kilometers, that she can be hunting enemy destroyers while concealed in her little smoke bubble. So she's going to feel a little like, if you played a Perth, about a tier six, she'll feel a little like Perth that way, but even more knife fighty because she has to get in closer. Um, and then, of course, she does get uh, it's typical, a typical speed boost here, which is pretty handy. This is something that most British destroyers do not get. Cossack is kind of the example, I think, maybe Gallant, uh, or Gallant, excuse me. And then, um, and of course, all the British tech tree destroyers do not get this, but Vampire Deuce here does get access to an engine boost. This will be really handy for trying to escape bad situations, which she may find herself in with her smoke and her radar. So yeah, there's there's this is an interesting ship. There's there are things to like here. There are things to not like. I don't foresee this as like some kind of meta defining competitive ship. I don't feel like that'll ever be the case. But she'll offer something different. She will be fun. Um, it's nice to have another museum ship. For those of you that don't know, Vampire Deuce is preserved in Darling Harbor, Sydney, as a part of the Australian National Maritime Museum. Um, this would have been an Anchors Away stop tour here on the NA server uh, in later this month. I was ready to go. Like I, had, I literally had I had tickets to go to that event. I had ticket plane tickets to Australia and everything it was going to be awesome. My wife and I love going down there, but unfortunately, that hasn't obviously is not going to occur. Um, but I think it's awesome we're getting another museum ship, uh, even if she doesn't come to the game quite in this form it'll be really really cool that they're bringing this ship to life and i look forward to seeing her in game whenever we i look forward to showcasing her on the channel when we're allowed to do so anyway guys there you go there's our first look at hmas vampire deuce i hope you enjoy that wash your hands be safe and i'll catch you next time